Yo, when I first got this haircut, people were saying that it looked like Finn Wolfhard and I didn't see it at the time, but you know what, some angles I, I kinda do. Uh, I gotta lift this camera up a little higher. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat. My hair is already so much bigger than it was one month ago and I think I already need a haircut. But that on the side, let's think about that later. Right now we're talking about the new Guardian soups, the new Guardian canned soups. So I uh, got my hand on all three of them on accident actually. I was just grocery shopping and I was like, huh, didn't Guardian just come out with some soups? Like what are the odds that they're in my local grocery store? So I go to like the health food section and boom, we have Guardian soups. We have three flavors. Now the price makes me think I wouldn't buy this on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not really a canned soup kind of person. So other than for a taste test, I don't know if these are very practical. They were $4 each and honestly when I buy a canned soup I want it for like $2.50. Is that too much to ask? I don't know. Maybe with like new products it's too much to ask. But let's go through the flavors that we have today. First, we have a classic chicken and rice. Honestly, they're all, they're all classic flavors I think. And then we have minestrone sausage. Now the minestrone is kind of like eh, but then the sausage is like, ooh, I'm not a fan of minestrone, 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 I don't know, just because it tastes like tomato water vegetables. But when you add the sausage, I can see it going well. The last and probably the most exciting one is this plant-based gumbo, sausage gumbo. Yup, this sounds delicious. Now, I just realized that a can is one serving size. Props to Guardian for doing that. I feel like so many canned soups are like two servings or three servings a can when like, let's be real, you can eat more than a can of soup. Anyway, I really like that. Each one boasts a decent amount of plant protein per can. This one has 10 grams, we have 11 and 14. I guess the winner is minestrone, which is like, eh? That being said, these all need heated up, so I'm just going to pop over to my kitchen, heat up a little bit of each one of these, and let's just get straight to the taste test. Actually, let's open them first on camera. Why did I sniff a closed can? <sighs> that was bad, okay. All right, we're starting with uh, plant-based sausage and gumbo, and while I open this, I'm gonna apologize that my room is, yes, still echoey. So we're gonna start with the plant-based, I'm not gonna say plant-based, they're all plant-based, uh, sausage and gumbo. No, I'm just hoping that, no, okay, good, whew. I was saying, I was hoping they don't give me dog food smell. They don't give me dog food smell. Okay, well, I mean, not much to see here. I'm not gonna tip it over too much cause then I'm gonna spill it, but it looks like a watery soup. Minestrone and sausage. Minestrone? I don't know, dude. Okay, this one looks identical to the last one. It does smell really good though. This one smells like sausage. Less minestrone, more sausage. And then the chicken and rice. This would be good if you're sick or something, you know? Oh, smells like, just smells like chicken soup. Looks kind of like chicken soup. Smells like chicken soup. My expectations at this point are hot. Let's warm them up and then I'll get back to you. So I heated the food up and um, I'm worried that this video is gonna be a little bit boring because they all smell delicious. And I'm, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna have much to rag on or make this video interesting. Oh, a little side note. I'm so proud of this little baby propagation. Check it out. We have two big roots right here. Mm, beautiful. And once it's Rudy enough, I'm gonna plant it in dirt. I actually have two of these going on right now. But, sorry, side note. Let's start with the plant-based minestrone, minestrone and sausage. I heated these up in a slightly unconventional way. I am serving them to myself in a jar. This way, hear me out, you guys can see, you know, through the glass. You can see everything going on without me having to like, you know, plop it up in a spoon. Shut up. I have never felt the urge to listen to my music that loud while I'm driving. We have some carrot, some sausage, some kidney. We have some carrot, some sausage, and some kidney bean, and some green bean in this bite, so I feel like it's a good bite also. This minestrone is less watery than I'm used to this particular soup being, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. Mm. 
it does not taste as good as it smells. So that's what's throwing me off a little bit. Also, the te texture of the sausage is a little bit strange. But the pasta is good. It's good, okay? It's good. It just tastes different than it smells. It smells more like pizza, and then it tastes like tomato soup, you know? Mm. Would eat out of convenience, would kind of enjoy, would not rave about, you know? All right, let's clean my wooden spoon. Yeah. And next up, we are trying the plant-based sausage gumbo. I have high hopes for this one. Who doesn't like gumbo? Again, we have our clear container so you guys can see everything that's in it. Ooh. This bite has some sausage, some rice, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of celery. It smells very different from the last one even though it looks very similar. Same. It tastes fine, but it smells better. So it's almost like the smell sets you up for like a tiny little bit of disappointment even though the soup is fine. Very strange, very strange, Guardian. Not the soup, the setup. Maybe I like this one a little bit better. No, I like it the same. Same, it tastes different, but the amount of pleasure I get from eating it is exactly the same. It's good even, it's just not great. Last but not least, we have our chicken and rice. This is probably most nostalgic for me. I ate a lot of chicken and rice soup growing up. Uh, I don't know which cultures do chicken and rice specifically, but Middle Eastern ones do it a lot. The soup looks very much like chicken and rice, as you can tell from my clear container. Let me look at the chicken shred. Well, it's not really a shred, it's more like a, like a chicken meatball. It smells good. Uh, this bite has some carrot, celery, chicken, quote unquote. I can't use my fingers to do the quote unquote, because food. Um, and rice. Why do they all taste different than they smell? I am confusion. I am confusion. Okay, um, all right, here are my thoughts. Chicken, same, same. It's, it's good. It's, it would be great in a pinch. I would eat it. It might be my favorite of the three. I think it is. However, I wouldn't rave about it. And that makes me feel a little bad, especially if Gardein is watching this video. Gardein, you are probably one of my favorite meat substitute companies. I love your seven grain chicken tenders. Please, if I am ever on one of your promo um, PR lists, don't use this video against me. Please, I love you. That being said, I'm not sugarcoating things. They all get a 7.5. They're just not wow. And that's a little bit sad. Also, there's an ice cream truck going down the road for no reason right now because it's raining and nobody wants your ice cream. I will finish all of these soups. However, I probably wouldn't buy it again because it was $4 and for that price point, I'd want to be a little bit more wowed. Now, shout out to Gardein though. Other than Amy's, they're the first really big vegan brand. I know Amy's isn't vegan, they're vegetarian, but they're the first vegan-ish, vegetarian-ish brand I know of to come out with like soups like this, and I think that's really neat, especially with the faux meat inside, so props to them. Oh, 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 one more thing. The calories on these, not that high, so 190 calories in this one. We have 240 and 210, so if you were to eat these like a meal, they would need more substance like a sandwich on the side or some toast at least or some mm, baked potato i don't know that is all i have for today um if you want me to check out any other new vegan products then let me know in the comment section down below like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to follow me on instagram where i post every single day i'll put my instagram right here and that's all i have for today i will talk to you next time goodbye shout out to all my patrons but especially my bodega bosses and my og bodega babes Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, The Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charles, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.